rotate. So go to the front of your comp and click the stopwatch on rotation and you want to go to the end and let's say I want this to rotate three times so throughout this course it will rotate three times sorry my computer on I have auto save on here alright next thing we're going to do um, With this, I added, I added a map, like a map into it. It's real easy. I'm not going to show you how to do the map into the center of it because I don't want to drag this out too far. But I'm going to show you how to like add the bogeys, like when it pops up where the enemy will be at. So I'm going to go to my clip here, and let's see. I know there's an enemy here, one here and three in here so what I'm going to do so I'm going to go to comp one I click here so there's one in front of me I'm going to turn off my radar wipe real quick and I'm going to duplicate the self indicator and I'm going to drag it up there's one directly in front of me so I'm going to put it right about there and the fill I'm going to change to I'm also going to change the name you you'll want to change the name so you won't get it confused so I'm going to name it uh, bogey okay change the fill to something that would you'd say as an enemy like red red is always enemy and you can turn stroke off because stroke makes it look kind of childish so just alt on alt click stroke and that'll turn off the stroke and then you get the bogey. Next will be a bogey kind of over here to our left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to drag it where the enemy would be. So it's somewhere like that. And then I'm going to do it again for the guys that are over in this corner and I'm going to duplicate it drag it over down duplicate it drag it over and up kinda like that well there that looks good that looks really good I like that okay now we're going to animate it to how this goes over them. So, all the bogeys at this point will be opacity of zero. And you want it to stay on zero. Now, I got to uh, click the stopwatch. Okay, now your bogey number one. This one right here. As it goes over, right there I want it to make kinda like a it's gonna go over it I want it to be an opacity of zero here drag it forward the rest of the way bring the opacity up to like 80 per se and then Go forward. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go for a whole minute. Click six there, and then zero. And there you go. This keeper right here is pretty much useless. Now your next bogey seeing that it changes right about right about here we're gonna passive one drag it here 80 
and then go forward one, two, three, four, five, six frames, zero. And you want to do this with each one of these. I'm going to pause the video and finish this part real quick. And then I will start it back up when I'm done. Alright, now that I've done that, it should look something like this. Where the buggy pops up. Right after it. It does that. And then you just copy and paste where the same way as you do it. So here I'll show you how you can do it, but I'm not going to repeat the process because I'm limited on time. But you drag it to right before it shows up. Control C, Control V. And it does it again. And then Control V. There you go. Does it again. And then you just do that to the same with all of these. And then there you go. You're set. Now, because my comp is two minutes long, it will take longer for this radar, this motion sensor here, to get around. And, uh, you don't really want it, you don't want your, uh, you don't want your Twixter to be for two minutes. That was just, this is just to, uh, just to show you a way to do it. You would, maybe, maybe three seconds would be good for it. Maybe, maybe two seconds, but not, not two minutes or anything like that. In fact, these are two seconds, and I think I made the comp two minutes on accident. So what I'm going to do is change that, because that really messes with it. But before I do that, I want to go to the the radar wipe. You go to... This will be one. This will be five nine. Click right there. Actually, I think it'd be two five nine. No, no, no. It'd be one. No, <laughs> I'm confused myself. It'd be two two five nine. And just drag this here, and then. I'm going to trim this to cut there. So now it'd be more like bam, bam, bam. I'm not going to change the bogeys. You just do the same thing as you would normally. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add something in here with text like uh, drag it out about here, I don't want any fill, so turn off the fill. I want a stroke on of two, and that will be that will be an information box. And then I want to do another one. Say right here. Just drag it out like so. There will be two information boxes where you can put like target targets require or targets acquired and you could put like five because there's five in the in the clip and then right here it could be like engaging which is what I did here it says engaging and it's four targets and then let's see what else could you do you could like do some cool like things across here where you could just connect them make it look even cleaner where you could just this would be a shape of its own, but it'd be like from here to here. It'd just be a line that connected them. 